Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on, let's make this dish. All right guys, so I wanna make myself a little bit of dinner. It's just me. So I'm doing a small batch right folks. You can make a bigger batch if you're making it for your family. And this dish is very low in carbohydrates. What I have here is some broccoli. So I've washed this already and I'm going to cut it into florets and just put it in my microwave for about a minute and a half to two minutes. I like my broccoli to have some crunch so I'm not doing it too much. I have here some black forest ham. There are slick six slices there and that's all the ham I had so that's what I'm using. If you have rotisserie chicken you can use that but I don't have any. I have ham so I'm just going to go with that. I think it'll be fine. I have here two tablespoons of um, cream cheese. I'm also going to soften this in my microwave, you know, maybe 30, 40 seconds just to get it a little soft. What I have here is quarter of a cup of half and half. I'm going to add this into my bowl here um, so that and the cream cheese will get softened together. Black pepper, garlic powder all-purpose seasoning and some yellow mustard I'll be right back all right guys so here's our broccoli I'm looking at this and I'll say this is probably about two cups so like I said this dish is pretty low in carbs I looked it up and two cups of broccoli will have about um, eight carbs but we get to subtract the fiber from there and that fiber will be six. So all of this, you only get two carbs of, of, out of all of this. Um, essentially, that's the only place here where you're getting carbs except for the half and half, and that's just two or three carbs also. So you get to eat all this, and the carbs are low. In comparison, one um, stick, uh, not one stick, sorry, one slice of bread is more than 20 carbs. So that just gives you an idea. So my heavy cream and my um, cream cheese I have them here I'm gonna add in just a little squeeze of mustard call that about a teaspoon I'm gonna add a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning maybe about a half a teaspoon not a whole lot because we're putting ham in there that has some salt in it garlic powder about a half a teaspoon you can add as much or as little as you like um, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and I'm gonna get that all mixed up and off camera while my stuff was in the microwave I chopped up my ham I'm gonna put that in here into little bits just so it can be distributed better get that mixed up now the other thing that I'm adding in here that I did not mention when we started the video is cheese so I have this Monterey Jack with jalapenos in it I'm gonna say that's about a half of a cup in here so I'm going to add that into my mixture this is so easy guys you just prep everything toss your broccoli in there and you're good to go all right so now we're going in with our broccoli very simply i'm going to get all this tossed up you can add any kind of cheese that you like if you want mozzarella or whatever you like that's fine all right i think i want to add just a little more cheese in here i'm going in with about another quarter of a cup. I'm gonna get this mixed up and I have a little baking tray here that I'm gonna set everything in. I'm gonna cook this in the air fryer. You don't have to heat up your entire kitchen just to make yourself a meal, okay? All right, I'll be right back. All right, here it is in my little dish. Perfect for single serving or if you're not very hungry, you can even eat out of this two times. It will go into my air fryer and I'm gonna set this for um, I'm gonna say for now 
eight minutes. I'll check it at eight minutes because it doesn't need a whole lot of cooking since we already cooked the broccoli in the microwave. I'll be back. Okay guys, so after five minutes, this is what it looked like. So I'm going to pull it out right now. And I will pour it out of here just so you can see the consistency that's in the bottom. Right, so this came together very quickly. We have a sauce there that was pretty thick and cheesy. We have some brown bits that formed on there from our air fryer. And let me tell you, you can serve this to people not doing the ketogenic diet and they will love it. Um, our cream cheese that we use that acted as our thickening agent. Under normal circumstances, if you were making this non-keto, you'd probably make a roux, but this works fine. Let me tell you, this is gonna be delicious. It's dinner time and I can't wait to eat. Thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen. I sincerely appreciate you and I hope you come back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye.